mentioned at the very top of the show, the weekend is here, or is it? The debate is raging. When does the weekend officially start, do you think? Well, like I said just before, um, in about an hour from now. <laughs> because, you know, our working week is, well, my working week. I know you lot do loads of other stuff, but I don't, because <laughs> I'm quite lazy. But half, well, half past one on a Friday, yeah, straight, straight out from here, straight home, straight down the pub. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> and then I come out on a Sunday night and then get up and come back in on a Monday morning. Oh my God. <laughs> no, that's not true. I don't spend the weekend in the pub. In fact, I've been very, very busy of late and I haven't had, like, one of my classic weekends for a really long time. And I'm so looking forward to getting back to doing absolutely nothing. Do you know what I mean? Like, lie on the sofa and watch endless repeats have come down with me and things oh, like that. Wow. I love it. So, yeah. Sunday I you do are, like my weekends. weekends. could not be any more different than yours. Laying on the sofa watching TV. Yeah. No, never happens in my house. Although, you if, do it. well, I know I can't. Not when you've got an eight-year-old going, I'm bored, I'm bored, I'm bored. Where are we going today? What are we doing? Can I have a friend round? It's like, ooh. So, if my weekend possibly starts on a Saturday morning, if he's going to his dad's, and then I'm like, right, what shall I do? And do you know what's so boring compared to your weekend I'll have a massage uh -huh. and do all the nice relaxing things and I might even not even go out Carol get in my pajamas and watch what I want to watch on TV oh, how nice. boring is that well that just doesn't sound very unusual no I know no. for me watch what you want to watch on TV I know. in your pajamas in bed <laughs> how? Yeah. no wonder you haven't got a boyfriend <laughs> <laughs> oh there she goes <laughs> You know what, I, I have to agree that, you know, you're, you live my old life and yeah, I miss it mine. so much. Yeah. I feel like I'm stuck behind a glass pane going, let me back in, yeah. just for one weekend. Yeah, I'd love to read a paper and I would love to, to, to wake up after 7 a.m. Yeah. That would be lovely. And go down the pub. But you don't. But yeah. you know, you just, for a couple of years, you don't. The sleepover is a magical invention. It's like an unspoken <laughs> thing amongst parents. And I can't wait till Ben's old enough to do sleepovers because it's like giving a parent a weekend back, isn't it? It's like, yeah. oh, I'll have yours this weekend. Yeah. You read the but I have had a few wild weekends lately, so I'm not mm. that bad. Yeah, we had one last weekend. We did. Yeah. You I, did, I, didn't I, you? I'll tell you, weekend, what's that then? Because I, 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 I start my work. On a Friday night and usually end it on a, a Sunday night. Every so, day the same. Yeah, it's every day the same. So but it's wild. Monday, my, my, you know, my weekend is very wild because I'm out gigging and I'm really oh, quite yeah. hardcore. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's a few yeah. people in here now. And uh, <laughs> yes, it's, it's great fun, so I don't mind it. But my weekend is usually Monday, Tuesday. If I'm not on, on the show. And you chill. Then, mm. Yeah. You so relax. It's any day I can get off is a weekend. So. The hard living Jane McDonald. Who'd have thought it, eh? Rock and roll. I'm oh. talking of weekends. Many of you mums watching will be out and about with your little ones over the next few days. And if you are, beware if you bump into journalist Liz Jones. In her column this week in the mail, she's been complaining about you. And by you, I mean us. She says, What's with those baby on board stickers in the back of car windows? I can't stand them. Why do women with children think they deserve special treatment? So. Do any of you agree with her? And what situations do you feel uh, are apparent where we over-accommodate children, if at all? Well, I, I do kind of agree with her, believe it or not. Um, no. <laughs> you know, and I, I, sometimes I think I'm going to get a sticker that says, suitcase in the back. <laughs> on board. Well, do you know what I mean, though? It's yeah. like, you know, I'm all right, so you've got a baby. Big deal. Loads of people have got babies. Don't worry about it. I'm not going to crash into you. I'm a safe driver. <laughs> so, it, no, it... it she has got a point in some respects, and, and, and I think, more than anything, I think the, we do over-accommodate people with children and children themselves, especially in, like, restaurants and, and bars where, you know, frankly, they shouldn't really be. You know, when I was young, you weren't allowed in the pub. You had to wait outside while your mum went in for a drink. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a safe way to parent in the, these no, modern I'm times. No, I'm joking. She, she never, ever did that, no. Um, she, worked in a, she worked in a pub, so we had to go around and see her sometimes, but we had to wait outside till she'd come out. Um, but, no, I just... You know, some people don't control their children, do they? And mm. the noise that you get from kids... I once got told off using a mobile phone in a, in a restaurant, and I was just on the phone. I wasn't talking loudly, and across from me was... Uh, and she told me, I said, you're not allowed to use phones. I was like, oh, sorry, put the phone away. But across from me, there's these kids sitting there going... <laughs> so, you know, why? And then well, the I'll tell you why, because they're a don't, child. 
Well, they're a child who can't yeah. control themselves because so they haven't what? learnt yet how to behave responsibly. Yeah, but what about the car parking? Why do why do mother and child have <laughs> car parking spaces right by the door? Why do they have to be right by the door? They can be over the other side of the car park. What's the difference? Why don't you stick all the old people over there as well and make them walk the distance? Because no, you've got I'll, a load to carry, Carol. People different. Disabled people different. Women with children are not disabled. They've just got children, and that's their choice. That's your choice. Well, not my problem. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> right, you would, I'm not having this. I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm not having this. <laughs> As a harassed Bye. mother who Bye. navigates the, the supermarket every week, let me tell you, when you've got a newborn baby and the supermarkets don't lay on the right trolleys for you to put your baby in, you then have to lug it around in a car seat, which, let me tell you, is heavier than any of your fancy handbags. You and then you get back out there and you, you, you've got to be able to get into the car with a baby. It could be raining. It's a nightmare. It's on I think, a trolley. Do you yeah. know what? Oh, I've got to get in my car with my shopping too. And mine's on a trolley. <laughs> Same as your baby on the shopping. It's on a trolley. You're not carrying anything. It's you though, Carol. You're not. What are you carrying? It's on a trolley. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to lend you. No, I'm not going to lend you Ben for the weekend. <laughs> Because that well, is tantamount no, to child abuse. Well, let, but <laughs> if you should just try doing a weekly shop for a family with a baby. Okay. Yeah. Go on then. And then I'm going to stick you at the far end of the car park. See how you like it. Oh, well, I, listen, right. I wouldn't complain. No, let me. Time out. <laughs> I, as a mother, been there with the baby, with the pram, with the nightmare, with the pushing the pram. I understand you've got to be aware, but you shouldn't also have to apologise for having a baby and having a pram, which is what I tended to do quite a lot. Well, that's I hate running over my foot. I, <laughs> <laughs> I hate prams as much as people with no kids do. And before I had kids, I hated them. And I still hate them now. Now Jake's eight. You know, when people just run into your ankles, yeah. you do you do you want to kill them. You so know, it's just being on purpose. You no, do know I've that. been there and I know. But that you know sorry. You don't say oh, Carol. Carol. I don't. What? Do they, no, if they run over my feet and bump into my knees. Well you know what? They go, sorry. oh is that moody one off loose <laughs> women. Off you go. <laughs> It's about being aware. I sat on a plane when Jake was less than one years old and it was a five hour flight and you know what? He never stopped screaming from the time I got on the flight to the time I got off. I was highly embarrassed. I knew everybody hated my gut and they couldn't wait for me to get off. But what do you do? I would have you got can't... my parachute and got off. <laughs> <laughs> Nasty about kids than no, Carol. No, I mean uh, there are some great intolerant. Well, there are some good behaved kids though. I've been out and about, and they've been fantastic in the pub that I had Sunday lunch. There was a group of a big family there, and the kids were fantastic. And I thought, isn't that lovely to see a family out having lunch? I don't mind them saying ones. that. I did, I did, <laughs> <laughs> I did, uh, I did park in the mother and child uh, area, and I was with my mother. And uh, the the guy says, "Excuse me, you can't park there." I says, "Excuse me, I'm the child, and she's my mother." <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, Okay, time for a break, but before we do, take a look.